Hi, I'm Steve Cantley at Broodminder here at Bees on Main in scenic downtown Stoughton, Wisconsin. And today I want to talk about image annotations because with BTV now out in the wild, it's time for me to turn my attention to training in AI to discover mites. But before I can do that, I need to train my AI to discover bees. And if you're willing, that's where you come in. Um, I am happy to send you images from inside hives so that you can find all of the bee bellies that you can find. Um, and so let's talk about how to do that. You'll start at the University of Oxford with the VGG image annotator, also known as VIA. Click on there, go to their website, and scroll down to version 2 and grab this uh, VIA 2.012 Dot zip. And the cool thing about this is it works Mac, it works PC, it works Linux. When you've clicked it, you will end up with uh, this set of files in a small folder, and you can just click on via.html, and this brings us to our annotation tool. Um, and again, an annotation is just something that the uh, that the program I use to train AI is going to use to learn what a bee belly looks like. So the first step will be to go to the project menu, come down to import region and file attributes, and there will be this file via project broodminder attributes.json. Upload that, and now uh, the program knows what a bee belly is. We will come up here and we will click on this folder that shows files that we want to upload. And I don't know why, but it seems to take two tries. Come over here to the project menu, add local files, and now these three files can be selected upload and look here we have bees so we're going to annotate these bees we're only going to do the ones where the bee is showing us her belly now we need to use this tool here because this gives us our polygon and for this bee you see that she's up against this bee down here and this bee here so we don't want to confuse the AI about where a belly is or isn't. So we just start outlining it. Here we need to stay in nice and tight until we get up here. And then we hit enter and this is going to be annotated as a bee belly. We're going to do the same thing up here. We come up and we click, and here we need to stay in relatively tight because she has bees all around her. When we've got the shape we like, we hit enter, and there is another bee annotated. All right, then we can go to the next image, click on it, and look, here's this bee belly and this bee belly. And in this region over here, it's okay to come out farther because that shows the training program what is around the bee. But by the time we get to this spot here where she's overlapping this bee, then once again, we want to stay relatively tight. And all we're doing is showing what the ventral abdomen looks like. We don't need any of her torso. We don't need any of her head. We only need the ventral abdomen. So 
here we're going to grab this one and you see I'm leaving space around and there we go then we get to the next image this is in white light we've got one here and we've got one here for this one here she's up against something and for this one it gets a little tight there but it's okay so I'm going to grab this again leaving margin and I get a little closer there hit enter come out here that thing in the background is a um, comb cell that looks like there's probably a pupa in it so that's fine hit enter and so now I have grabbed all of these bees this bee's head is cut off but that's not what we're interested in so it's fine we just want to make sure that she isn't moving so fast that everything is blurry we want to make sure that everything is in relatively decent focus and we want to make sure that if we're annotating her abdomen we're getting the entire thing for this bee over here for example we wouldn't grab her because a big chunk of her abdomen it has been removed we wouldn't grab this one because it's in the glare and it's an impossible bee to see and this one it's kind of blurry over here so we probably wouldn't grab her when you're done you will come here to the annotation menu and you will say export annotations as JSON the second um, item down that will go into your downloads folder and you can just email that to me at steve at broodminder.com thank you for your willingness to help and uh, have a great day.